Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, it's going to be a reasonably short one just here. Uh, I am just um, popping in really to not talk to Navali uh, to do the aspirants trial. I don't really have time right now to do all of Act 4. Uh, it is very early. It is not yet 7.30 in the morning. Um, if you are reading stuff, then there are 10 things to read in here. Um, Alright, I need to be level 30... It's at level 33. Let's see how we go. I don't want to die. It doesn't matter if I do, except if you die in here... Um, it's... Softcore. There is softcore and, and hardcore. Well, there's hardcore and not hardcore. Um, and why hasn't Twitch picked up that I'm streaming yet? Do I hit start recording? No, I hit start streaming. Okay. Yeah, look, yeah, it knows I'm live. Go to my channel. Go to my chat. Yeah, cool. There's nobody in here. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> and there's a map. And the map changes on a daily basis. Um, there is a website which lets you see what the map is. Um, and because I'm trying to zoom through this, I should probably be uh, watching that. I'm going the wrong way, but it's, it's fine. Um, you uh, it can't leave the area. Uh, if you die, you have to start... Well, you can leave the area, but you can't leave the area and then keep going. Uh, if you die, you have to start again. Uh, if you use a portal scroll to portal out, you have to start again, which I didn't realise on my first go. I can see on the minimap here that there's some locked doors up there. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to go this way. Oh, apparently we are. Oh no, this is the way. Alright, he dead. Alright. That's not the way out. Uh, Alright, we want that other... The other entrance. Too late, Dave. Yes, please. So, unlike uh, Tane, no indication on the map of where uh, the monsters who will drop rogue markers are. So, that seems kind of random. This dude with the things underneath him, that's the symbol for uh, Intominable Will. Uh, can't die. Sorry, can die. Uh, allies nearby him can't die. You can get them down to zero, down to one hit point, but they can't die. Here we are at the end, and this is boss fight part one. Uh, there's a stash that you can put stuff into. Oh, I could do some... Uh, yeah, I could do some... Okay, and tab 5 is just going to be stuff that we vend at the end of it. All resistances, rank 1. So that's... Well, it's all elemental resistances. It's not chaos. Here's the boss. There are three lieutenants. 
if you manage to wait until the lieutenants are up or something, there'll be, like, he'll drop an extra key when you kill him at the end. Or if you don't kill the lieutenants or something, it's always a bit beyond me as to how it actually works. Well, or if you kill all three of the lieutenants. Well, I got enough damage. Only one of my lessons was completed. So I killed one of the ascendants. Sorry, I'm the ascendant. I killed one of the lieutenants. Um, apparently I needed to kill all three of them. I would have got an extra key at the end. Uh, we'll discuss the keys when we get to the end. So now there's two paths we can go by. In the long run, it's best to stay on the road we're on. So we'll head this way. Here's a book. There are several poems to read. I probably missed uh, one in the first section. Uh, it is easier to find the more Okay, so this is a timed crank. Okay. Uh, timed crank, timed crank, timed crank. Timed crank. Timed crank. And then the door opens. Okay, so here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Door opens. And we get... Ooh! A unique mana flask. And a giant life flask. I think we're beyond... Oh no, we're, we're mid-giant. Dodri's elixir. Ooh, you only get to use it once. It removes 20% of your energy shield on use. You take 10% of your maximum life as chaos damage. You gain a power charge, you gain a frenzy charge, and you gain an endurance charge, and then you drink the cider drink. I'm not going to be using that. I don't have anything that cares about power, frenzy, or endurance charges. Not as good as on heat. Might have been uh, heat or staunching though. Always worth a look. Especially since it's a, um, a larger one. Okay, now there's these rolling pillar traps and there's switches that change the direction they go in. Sometimes they're required and sometimes they're not. Sometimes you can just walk through them, 22%, not going to bother. Here's an exit, so we can check the map. This is the bottom exit, or we could go through the top exit, <coughs> which will be over here somewhere. Oh shit. Ah, well, there's no reason to go that way, we can see from the map. Alright, which means the other exit is through this section. Okay, there. Well, that helped. Got a bit closer than I would like. And here's the other exit.
And this goes straight to trial part two. And there's another inscription here. And this is the same crafting recipe. Uh, this is the first tier of the Aspirants trial. And then through Acts um, 6 and 7. 6, 7 and 8? 6 and 7. Can't remember. Um, you get find another three little trials um, that let you into the... Um, the second tier and then in by the time you get to act 10 you've unlocked the third tier and then during the atlas maps section i should have spent that passive skill point i can't do it now all right there's these uh fountains is sort of the wrong word All right, so he's still on, uh, still on that life from earlier. I wouldn't mind killing off the stupid lieutenants. All right, there go the stupid lieutenants. All right, there he goes, he's done. If you are not an emperor, none will kneel before you. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Okay. Always zooms all the way in uh, when you reopen it. Um, where was I going next? I still don't have a shield. I was going to... Oh, here, yes, increase spell damage. Okay. Uh, if I had a bunch of stuff that had dropped from these guys that I wanted to pick up, uh, you can go back down the stairs into the previous section and put it in that stash. Once you go, th once you exit the boss fight, uh, that's it. You can't go. You can't go back into the previous third or two thirds of the map. So this will be, there'll be one here and there'll be one here and there'll be one here and there'll be one here. So we want the... Uh, if I was looking at the website, it would tell me which way to go, roughly. Uh, and it would tell me not where the poems are, which would actually be sort of useful. Oh. These sections really aren't that great for this character. Alright. Alright, I'm just going to stand exactly here. Oh, no. No, I'm not. How about here? Okay, here works. I'm just going to stand exactly here. And then I'm going to leap down this way in a bit. Stupid poison. Alright. These things are fun. I don't think this one's working. This one's working though. We can take a look and see what it does. Blam. That one's not working. I don't have a curing flask, which is... I haven't really needed one up until this point. So, slight oversight. Oh, that frost does creep, doesn't it? Okay, just want to get to a part where it's not... Um, 
standing right on the uh, on the poison bit. Oh yeah, look at that frost creep. That's actually pretty cool. All right, and we're through that section. Oh, that is on a cooldown. All right, well, that's good to know. I don't need it, but it'll sell. I can actually wear it. It's only level 10. It's showing up because it's a 4L. Alright, so this is the straight across one. Perfect. Less perfect for finding the poems and stuff, but... Right, so, oh look, here we are back in this area. It's not the same area. Uh, it's a different area of the same type. There's an exit up there. Creeping Frost is now level 6. Alright, so that takes us um, down to this way. So there's a key and a door. I just can't be bothered. Um, rude. Ooh. So there's another exit over there, which means we've got to find how to get over there. It shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, an Arcanist Strongbox. Yeah, we know we're going to do that. An orb of fusing, nice. Current location, Aspirant's Trial. So we made it to the end. Good job, us. All right, last inscription, bit of lag. Lag is the last thing that I want in here. So both of the lieutenants are still around, which is frustrating and also the conduits there are 
if you can find them, there are usually um, chests that give you an item to automatically destroy or disable one of those helper things. Uh, 6%. Uh, and there's um, three more poems that I missed, which is it's fine. Okay, uh, it's this is Baby Lab, so the the saw blade traps or the disc blade traps that are here uh, won't be active. him down. And that's him down. I got two keys. So you get one key by default and you get extra keys for doing better stuff and you can also find them sometimes in uh, in the um, I might as well grab it because I'm about to go sell it in the uh, in the treasure chests there's nothing else there that I need uh, even though you've got an item filter you can hold down alt and that will show you all of the stuff that your item filter has hidden Here we are in the Ascendancy Chamber. So the first thing we want to do is this Altar of Ascendancy. This is what turns you from a Shadow or a Duelist or a Witch or a Templar or a Scion into your Ascendancy. Uh, we're going with Trickster, that's sort of the whole point. And now we have, each of them have a, an arrow pointing into the center uh, except for the Sion, who's already in the centre. Um, each of them have an arrow pointing into the centre, which shows your ascendancy. Oh, excuse me. Um, and we are going... Where are we going? We are going for... Um, hmm, it's the straight down one, I think. Patient Reaper, that's the one. Uh, so you get two points um, for each time you do the each each of the four labyrinths uh, tiers. So this is Baby Lab, Normal Labyrinth. Um, so you get two points, and then for the other one after Act Seven or Eight, probably Eight, um, you get the second one, which is cruel and then after act 10 you get merciless and then after the unlock it a fourth time you get eternal um i have never done eternal labyrinth um i have never gotten it to unlock let alone actually completed it okay so we're going to go this way it's going to give us more cast speed energy shield and evasion rating and it's going to buff our our dots um, recover a whole bunch of stuff on kill. 70% of our increased recovery rate if we've killed an enemy affected by... 70% uh, increased recovery rate if we've killed an enemy affected by damage over time recently. Recently is the last four seconds, always. So that's what we're going to do. Um, the next one we're going to go is this way, down to Ghost Dance. Every two seconds, gain a Ghost Shroud. When hit, lose a Ghost Shroud and recover energy shield equal to 4% of your evasion rating. 10% increase movement speed while you have energy shield. That is, uh, that is pretty nice. Okay. Uh, if you want this one, 
uh, which we're not going to because it's about chaos damage. Um, this is poison duration. We're not doing poison either. 20% more damage over time. Pretty good. Uh, if you want this one, if you are doing a chaos trickster, you've got to go here, here, here. And then you get one other one. Maybe that one. Mm, well, channeling, or maybe that one. Or maybe that one. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to go down to Patient Reefer and apply those points. Uh, we've got six refund points. So you can make some changes to your build, although most people recommend if you want to dramatically change your build, just start a new character. Because it doesn't take that long. <laughs> it's taking me two hours per act, which is probably three times as long as, as normal as as people who play this game a lot. Um so these points you can refund these nodes here. I can all of these are joined in a big circle, so I can refund any of these nodes, um, or these nodes from the end, or these nodes from the end, or these ones from the end, and I will at some point be doing that. Um, I can't refund just this node because all these nodes are dependent on it. Uh, I can refund any of these nodes because it's a circle. I can't refund this node or this node. Um, I can refund that one, which is the one that I just did, which would be a bit silly. Um, but maybe you made a mistake. Try not to make mistakes. You do get 20 refund points for doing the optional quests. So they are worth doing. Um... You can also uh, use, where's my stash? Uh, you can also use things called an Orb of Regret to gain a uh, passive refund point. Uh, you, don't need you, don't need you, uh, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. Don't need you. All right, and okay, let's see what treasures we unlocked. Oh, also this. Um, the so these are one one to one. Your ascendancy twelve. You need twelve refund points to refund one of these. So it's. It's a, it's not, it's not an easy game to just dive into. Um, it is a fun game though. Uh, we have two keys, uh, so we can unlock two of these chests. What do they have in them? Probably boring stuff. One, two. Well, we got a lot of armorous scraps and uh, you can see that it highlights them on the ground. You can actually... pick them up on the ground. But it's, it's usually easier to just use the labels to pick them up. Um, is that the right colours? Maybe. I think I've got enough of that though. No, um, no shield. Come on, shield. Oh, I nearly forgot. The other thing we want to do is the divine font. Um, this is normal lab, so we can improve a pair of gloves. Looks like we're sticking with these gloves for a while. Let's see what we get. It'll be something sort of basic, but Word of Tempest on here. What does Word of Tempest do? Probably something about lightning damage. It's got that sort of uh, ring to it. All right. Actually, while we're here, we might as well fill that out. Um, you, 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 you. 
Perfect. Alright, do I need any of that for... No, I don't. Okay. ID, 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 no, chromatic. ID, chromatic, ID, ID. If it's chromatic, there's no point identifying it. You're going to get the same thing. Anyway, you're wasting an ID scroll. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that life. Look at those defenses. Look at that um, uh, resistance. Oh. Uh, it doesn't have move speed, but I can put move speed on it. doesn't have life region. It doesn't have any int or mana. Um, oh, fine. I'll sell it. doesn't have any shield. Uh, you can't put shield on it on a... I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't. Sell, 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 sell. Sell, 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 sell. Sell, sell. Don't sell currency back to vendors. All you will get any currency you sell. Uh, no, sorry. If you're just selling random bits of currency, all you will get is a scroll fragment. These trade one to four for the scrolls and so do the um, um, these things. So these you can sell for ID scrolls. Everything else, no. Um, you can do some currency trades with vendors, but you have to purchase them. And they will take stuff out of your stash as well. You don't need to have it with you. It will take stuff out of your inventory first and then take it out of your stash. If you're in a an area that has a stash, so you don't have to run back and forth. If you're in the library, which has no stash, you have to bring your currency with you. It's fine. Aww. Uh, Lee went into work early, which is what I'm doing here right now. Um, and uh, because they had an interview um, to conduct early this morning and has just discovered that it's not until 8.30. Um, well, I think, that's, I think that's it for me this morning. Uh, speaking of work, I've got to get to work. It's nearly 8 o'clock. Um, so we have, uh, we've gotten our ascendancy. We've become a trickster. Um, still haven't found a shield, which would be... Would be nice. Increased spell damage, increased spell damage, increased spell damage, increased car speed, increased spell damage per 5% chance to block attack damage. Uh, your chance on blocking attack damage is depending on which shield you have. Um, plus 3% chance to block attack damage, so that's sort of feeding into itself. Uh, some shields will be better at others. I guess we could go buy a shield, uh, not from Clarissa, let's try, what's his name, Hagen. Alright, so this is sort of the shield that we want, except we want one that has 12, oh no, this is increased spell damage, so this won't, oh, ch chance to block 23%. Uh, there's also this one, dodge spell hits. Requires level five. Oh, we could buy this for an orb of transmu uh, transmutation and then sell it for a chromatic orb. Oh, really? Oh, 
Well, these are all over the place, and these are all over the place. So that's one for one, and that's three for one. Um, so that costs eight of those. Um, blacksmith's whetstones, I don't use that often. I didn't know I could trade those eight for one. That might be worth doing at some point in the future. Um, well, I'll be in the Act 4 town very soon, so I'll, uh, I'll check out their goods there. And hopefully they'll have something for me. Right, I was going to work. Okay, uh, thanks for um, watching if you have been. Um, I'll be back again sometime soon with Act 4. I hope you had fun. Oh, I didn't change the thing. Ah, oh, that's okay. Okay, bye!